All you have to do is look on new, then you'll understand why it's a jolly holiday with Mary. Mary makes your ass so light. Oh, really? When the day is gray and ordinary, Mary makes the sun shine bright. Oh, bad. happiness is glooming all around her. The daffodils are smiling at the dog. I haven't the faintest idea what you're When Mary holds your hand, you feel so grand. Your rod starts beating like a big brass band. You've enough brass for all of us. Oh, it's a jolly holiday with Mary. No wonder that it's Mary that we love. There, come on, you two. Boring, just like other nannies. Thinking parks are good for us. It's just statue ducks and grannies. I don't understand all the fuss. Despite us, we could lose her for a lark. Perhaps it's all a plot. I'll tell you what, she seems so different, but, but I, I bet, bet she's not. There is nothing to excite us in the park. What was that? You're quite wrong, you know. Wh who are you? I'm Neelius. Surely you know that. You've sat beneath me often enough. I've waited half a century to take a walk on a sunny day like this. Ain't it a glorious day? Right as the morning in May. I feel like I could fly. Have you ever seen the grass so green or a blue sky? Oh, it's a jolly holiday, Mary. Better days I've never known. You can ask the passing statuary. Nothing's ever set in stone. Morning, Mary. Morning, Constable. You two look tip-top shape, if I may say so myself. Thank you, Bat, and you may. Each man out with his dog will stand a gog to see a statue take a gentle jog. Oh, it's a jolly holiday with Mary. No wonder that it's Mary that we love. It's a jolly holiday with you, Bat. Oh, me. Mary, I am so glad. You just a diamond in the rumpet. Underneath your blood is blue. You'd never think of pressing your advantage. But that is just the hallmark of your creed. A lady need a fear when you are near. Your sweet gentility is crystal clear. It's crystal clear. Oh, it's a jolly holiday with you. A jolly, jolly holiday with you. Come on, you two.
Jane, did that really happen? Yes, but how? Mary Poppins, of course. How do you know Mary Poppins? She's an old friend of my father. Your father? You're a statue. You can't have a father. Well, if that's true, then why do I miss him so much? Well, isn't he one of the other statues? No. He lives far away from here. Do you really miss him? Wouldn't you miss your father if you hardly ever saw him? I'll have to think about that. Well, hey, while I've got you here, would you like to see something very cool? Sure. sure. Come with me. Oh, Artemis, do you know what a handshake is? Like with your best friend? Not at all. Let me show you. Ouch. Very nice, yes? Are you okay? Oh, perfectly fine. You look like it hurt. A little bit. It gets a bit uh, dusty up there after all those years. Father would never let us bring dust in the house. No. Oh, really? No. Oh, you poor things. Why did your father let you get dusty? That's it. That's it. That's what it was. Oh, uh, what? What do you mean, what? The plinth is half empty and the statues are gone. Do you mean you've lost your marbles? This is your fault, isn't it? I should have known you would have been in trouble when you first arrived. Now, <laughs> what? 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 Oh, not me. You will play with us again, won't you, Neelys? Of course I will. I'm not going anywhere. Then we'll see you soon. Goodbye, Goodbye Neelys. Goodbye. Mary Poppins. Mm -hmm. Neelys must be so lonely. Could his father ever come to stay? We'll have to see. Well, how long will you stay? I'll stay until the wind changes. Now run along home. Good Goodbye, night, Bert. Bert. Good night, Jane. Good night, Michael. Good night, Mary. Good night, Bert. <laughs> Jane and Michael want to say good night. Tell them you've given me the message. George, please. Oh, Daddy, we've had a fantastic day. We sang with a busker, danced with some statues, and we met Queen Victoria. You wouldn't have approved, but... If you knew that, then why did you do it? Daddy, can I have a kite? A proper one? Could you fly it? You could always teach me. When would I have time to do that? Daddy, who was the father of Melius? Would you please let me get on? Good night. Michael, all he cares about is flying kites and his beloved astronomy, of course. I used to love astronomy when I was his age. My nanny, Miss Andrews, soon beat it out of me. I suppose we do need a nanny, George. It's out of the question to do without one. Don't be absurd. Of course it is. Well, the best people have nannies, so the wives can do charity work and entertain. Which reminds me, how was your tea party coming on? I'm not sure. It seems so strange to be sending out invitations to people I hardly know. But they're people you should know. Remember, by your friends shall ye be judged. Oh, that's my point exactly. They're not my friends. Actually, I was speaking to Clemmy Bunting the other day about a new play she's rehearsing at How the many times must I tell you? I wish you to sever all connections with that part of your life. George, I was an actress. Lots of people might find that interesting. Though you always as if I should be ashamed of it. Well, it's not exactly something to be proud of. Wonder Fred, dearest, I'm only thinking of you. I want people to admire you and to respect you. I know, George, but it's hard. It's not hard, it's your job. To be Mrs. Banks. And what is your job? To pay for everything. What is it? Well, I was only going to kiss you. Oh. All right. Are you going to speak to Mary Poppins about this afternoon? I don't think so. Very well. Just make sure she does things our way and not hers. What good are rules if you can bend them? We need a nanny who is disciplined and stern with boys and girls. You don't befriend them. I fear that Mary Poppins has a lot to learn. Being Mrs. Banks should be an easy role, 
And yet it's one which I don't seem too good at on the whole. I have a comfy home. I have a simple life. I have a name which tells the world I'm someone else's wife. Being Mrs. Banks, what does that entail? Facing tests of character, I always seem to fail. And as for his best people, well, I'd like to say no thanks. They're not exactly my idea of being Mrs. Banks. I still feel as if I'm dreaming. So much fun in just one day. When Mary holds your hand, you feel so grand. Your heart starts beating like a big brass band. I'm sure Nelius is beaming. Let's hope she will stay. Good night, Nelius. Let's hope she Let's hope she will precision stay. and order. Swabbing the decks today, I see. Gotta keep him ship shape, Admiral. Yeah, I know what you mean. Now tell me, how are things aboard number 17? All smooth sailing with Mary Poppins, I trust. There's rough weather on every voyage, Admiral. Ah, Miss Lark, what those children need is to touch the cat on the night on the yard arm. What does that even mean? I'm not even too sure myself. No, what those children need, Admiral, is a touch of happiness. Yeah, that's the one. is too early. They'll get stale before the guests arrive. Everything's under control, ma'am. And the cake. You're quite sure you know how to ice it? Quite sure. And in case you're worried, I have not been exchanged by the fairies for a total nincompoop. Oh, no. Well, I'll go up and check the drawing room then. Well, you know, I'd like to be helpful. And I'd like to be rich, but the good Lord thought otherwise. Mother wants you in the drawing room. Does she indeed? Well, she can't have me. I've got enough on my plate here as it is. She says that you can tell Roberts and I what to do. <laughs> well, why don't I go have a smoke near the gas works for good measure? Well, I don't mind, Miss Brill, honest. Fine. I will give you one task and one task only. And so help me if you get this wrong, I will swing for you and sing as they pull the lever. What is it, Mrs. Brill? Put the icing tools next to the cake. And I'll need a bowl of hot water to warm them. I'll make the icing as soon as I get back. OK, so icing tools, cake, hot water, and I'll make the icing as soon as I get back. Can you manage that? Um, is, is it all? For you, yes. For me, no. After that, I've got the sandwiches next, because Madam wants them fresh, and there's no time to start them until there's no time to finish them. I swear, a slave in ancient Rome was on a pleasure cruise compared to my life in this house. Well, don't just stand there, Roberts and I. Right. No. 
What are you looking for? Um, a bowl full of water. Michael, why don't we make the icing? Because we don't know how? Oh, don't be so feeble and get me the eggs. If Mrs. Brooke could do it, it can't be that hard. Are there eggs in icing? The are mine. Um, you know, I don't think Mrs. Brooke, thank you. That she will be guilty of a great ingratitude. Is it supposed to look like this? Oh, it doesn't look like that when Mrs. Brill makes it. Don't be impertinent to get me the cake. Honestly, Mrs. Jane, I was just trying to be helpful. If you would just... Ow, my finger! Oh, oh, oh! oh. ma'am. How dare you! When you knew how important my party was. Oh, you two deserve some very nasty medicine. Just wait until bedtime. I don't think we shall wait till then, ma'am. Why don't you go on and get ready? We'll clean up, won't we? But we're not ill. I won't take it and you can't make me. In that, as in so many things, your information is faulty. Open. But it's strawberry ice. Now you. Oh, I'm not so sure I like strawberry ice, thank you. Oh, well, I'm not so sure I care. Open. It's lime cordial. Now off we go, you two. Michael, I know how you like to keep things neat. Jane. I told you this one was tricky. Must we? Count Roberts and I do it when he wakes up. He's a servant. With that attitude, you will get through a lot of staff before you are very old. And besides, in every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. You find the fun and snap, the job's a game. And every task you undertake becomes a piece of cake. A lock, a spree, it's fairly clear to see. Sugar of some medicine, go down, medicine, go down, medicine, go down, just a spoonful of sugar of some medicine, go down in the most delightful way. Oh, my point exactly. The honey bees that fetch the nectar from the flowers to the comb, never time ever buzzing to and fro. Because they take a little nip from every flower that they see, and hence, and the hence they, find they find their task, task is not a grind. Just a spoonful of sugar, else the medicine go down. The medicine go down. Our medicine go down. Just, Just a spoonful of sugar, else the medicine. Go down in the most delightful way. Cups on saucers, please. Spit spot. Is this how you usually do it, Michael? Ah, rum punch, my favorite. Sugar helps the medicine. 
medicine go down. The medicine go down. The medicine go down. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. In the most delightful way. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Jane, Michael, best foot forward, best foot. <laughs>